Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Lilo56 and welcome back to some more Stationeers on Europa. So in this episode, what I want to do is actually get the starter base uh, for the most part finished. I want to add some automation in here. So I want to automate the filtration machine. I want to get an occupancy sensor. So when I walk in here, the lights turn on. When I leave, the lights turn off. Um, and then I also need to automate our grow lights here as well and actually get some I want to get some actual trays and stuff here and eventually get rid of this thing but yeah and then i also need to make a pipe that goes from here and connects to our uh our little farm over here so then i also need to hook up our fridge so we actually have uh power or so i can actually store uh stuff in in our fridge there but yep so i'm gonna put my suit back on because in the last episode i actually took a shower Let's see, let's do that, we'll do this, and we'll do that. There we go, all right. And let's open up this as well. So what I need to do is I need to make some logic chips so I can actually start uh, doing some logic and stuff in here really quick. Which, do I have any copper? I have a bunch of iron, well not a bunch of iron, but I do have some iron. Let's do this. Let's get rid of all the stuff that's in here. All right, so we have iron. I think I need copper. I don't think I have any copper. No, I don't. So I'm gonna have to go out on a little mining trip before I do anything as of right now, which is fine. Let's see, how is this going? Thriving, 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 thriving. So that looks good. All right, so yeah, let's go on a little mining trip, find some copper so that I can actually make some logic. And then I also need some more steel and some silicone, which I have here for insulated pipe to connect here. And then, yeah, I should be, be able to start making some, um, some biomass here pretty quick as well. And then making some charcoal for our, fill, our water purifier. So yeah, let's do this. We're gonna top off our water, top off our food before we head out there. All right now, let's head out. Let's see. I do need another battery. What I probably should do is move this inside. Um, I'm gonna eventually do that. For right now, it's fine, but I'm gonna um, have to move that inside mainly so it doesn't. So the temperature of Europa doesn't drain my batteries. All right, so let's go find some copper really quick. All right, let's do this. And then, yeah, what I also want to do is I'm going to utilize both wind and solar power. So I'm going to have the wind turbines on top of my base, and I'm probably going to end up making a separate platform for um, solar panels. All right, and then this looks like copper. So let's do this. And then I don't need a whole lot of copper. I'd like to get at least a couple of stacks just to be on, on the safe side. But depending on how big the node is, that can you can end up with a bunch of copper really quick. And so far, this looks like a pretty good sized node. Okay. Let's get there. Let's dig this out. Oh, geez. There's actually there's a uh, there's a hole here. Well, no wonder the ground was all uh, messed up. All right. There's that. Let's dig down a little bit more over here. Yeah, we we almost have a full stack of copper all already. Probably not any more copper this direction, so we're not going to be digging out that way anymore. So yeah, there is more copper this way, so let's go out this direction. Oh, my light was on. I was like, wait, why is my light? It looks like my light's not on. Right, we'll dig straight up. Let's see. Then we're gonna dig out this way just a little bit, just to make sure there's nothing over here. All 
Probably don't need to go all the way over here, but oh well. Alright, let's dig out this way. We'll do this. We also have some volatiles here. I really don't need volatiles right now, but... I think that's all the volatiles I have, so I guess it wouldn't be a bad thing to grab some if I can. Alright, let's dig down this way. Yeah, we already have a full stack of copper, so this is good, and there's at least another stack here. And if I can grab at least a little bit more volatiles, that wouldn't be a terrible thing. Alright, and it looks like there's some more copper this direction. There we go. Power low. Yep, I will take care of that, don't worry. Alright, we already have a stack full of copper. We have uh, more volatiles than we probably need as of right now, but that's fine. So let's dig out this direction a little bit more, see if there's any more copper in this wall here. There is some above me, which is fine. There we go, all right, let's dig straight up. All right, that's probably fine for now. I'm gonna leave this part exposed just in case I uh, need some, a little bit. Let's see here. Uh, my tracker should be on, uh-oh. So on the plus side, uh, my tracker's turned off. And that's not something that's good. Um, crap. So, it's right here. Which direction did I come from? <laughs> that's not good. So the moon's right there. Let's see. I want to say I came from this direction. Is that... There it is. Wow. Yeah, I need to make sure my tracker's turned on, because if I was going the wrong direction, I completely would have uh, died out there. All right, so let's swap our batteries out here. Let's see... All right, so we'll do volatiles. We'll do that. Um, I guess what I could do is I could do this. Yeah, let's let's utilize the uh, the furnace really quick. Oops, I don't know why I closed that. All right, one, two, three, four, one, two. Oops. There we go. All right. So we'll throw copper in here, make it really quick, and then I can start set, setting up the logic and stuff inside our base. So that, let's turn those off. And we have copper ingots. All right. Perfect. Let's open that up and let's go back inside. All right, so we can open up our helmet, and then what I want to do is I want to make some logic. So for this, I'm just going to need a simple compare uh, chip. So we'll throw that in there. We'll grab the gold, throw that in there. All right, so let's do logic, and we need two of these. Alright, so that's the logic reader. Yeah, we need one logic memory. So I can actually start setting this up now. So we'll do logic reader, logic writer, logic processor. Let's do logic memory, which we can throw right here 
and then we have a logic processor which this is going to be the compare unit all right and then i also need some um i'm gonna need more cable because the amount of cable i have currently is not gonna suffice so i don't need a whole lot i have 93 copper so i shouldn't need to make a whole lot of it but let's do this and probably something like that and then I'm also going to kind of rearrange this too so let's see yeah this will go something like this okay this. I wonder if it really matters how I do this. To do something like that. There we go. That works. All right. So now that this is all hooked up, let's actually start labeling these. So this is going to be our filtration. So what we'll do is we'll label this as filtration. All right, and then we want filtration, filtration, and filtration. There we go. And then I want this set at 9,000. All right, so the logic reader is going to read the filtration machine and we're gonna read pressure. And we want pressure output. Pressure output, okay. And then this, oops, I am missing a piece of cable right there. There we go, all right. All right so we're gonna do logic reader. If it's less than the logic memory, then logic compare, filtration machine will turn on. Yeah, so the last time I, I built this, I actually used a, um, a pipe analyzer right here. Uh, but yeah, you can do the exact same thing just from the filtration machine alone. All right, and then this should turn off once it, once it reaches 9,000. And there it goes. Perfect. All right, so this is all set up. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to color code all this as well. But for right now, this is good. Um, the next one I want to do is... I need temperature control in here more than anything. So what I'll probably end up doing, because the temperature is slowly rising. Let's see, let's put you back. Potato seed, potato seed. All right, so we actually have some potato seeds here. All right, so let's do one, two, one, two, two, one, two. All right, I need to hook that up. So let's do this. I'm gonna need some more cable. So let's see, how do I wanna do this? Because I plan on putting a door here for the shower, so. All 
Hmm. Where? I'm not sure how to do this. I guess I could have... No, because I'm going to have piping right here for our water. So the fridge, I guess what I could do... Hmm. Yeah, let's turn you off for a minute. That, that's a lot of cable. All right, so let's do... Because I want to put some more lockers or something, right? I guess I could put a... I'm not sure how to do this because I want... I, I like this right here. But I'm not sure how to do that cable. Too bad you can't do a variant of the fridge where the cable's in the front. That would just make it a lot easier. But... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how, how to do this. I guess what I could do is run a cable that comes down like that. That could work. Run a cable that comes down like this. I can't tell if that's on or not. Nope, that's on. Okay, I think we're good. Alright, so that's good there. Let's put you back, and then I can throw the eggs. Oops, let's do this. I don't know if that'll work or not, but there we go. Okay. So that's that. So it is the temperature slowly increasing in here. So let's actually do some more potato seeds. Two, three, and four. All right. So the temperature is slowly increasing. So I think what I need next is uh, a way to cool down our base, which technically I have this vent right here, so I can easily cool it down. But I kind of want a passive system if I can. Also, let's do, um, let's see, there's the pipe bender. Let's get a couple more insulated uh, pipe in here. Oops, there we go. Insulated pipe, and I only need one, two, three, four, five. See how much how much oxygen do I still have in this tank here? I have quite a bit. Oh, that's kind of funny that you can see what's in here. Alright. And let's do this, 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 and that. Alright, perfect. So what I also need to do is make some charcoal so I can actually um filter out our water here. So I guess what I can do really quick while I'm here is I need more cable to hook up out there, which I should have enough, but let's grab, I have enough food, so we'll grab all the potatoes that we have right now. So let's head back outside. Close our helmets so I don't kill us. All right, so what I want to do, our power is actually pretty good uh, right now. Let's do this. Two, three, four. I should have enough cable here. There we go, okay. Uh, I don't really need this anymore. 
Yeah, I really don't need this any of this cable at all. This is all just uh There we go. Alright, perfect. So we have a bunch of cable on us, which is good. Let's put that like that. And then I could do a couple of shoots or something just to shoot it in here. Not that it really matters. All right, let's turn that on. We'll turn you on and let's put you in there. And we're going to throw the biomass in there until we get some. Let's see, I believe it's like organic if I remember correctly. Charcoal, biomass, and arc furnace. Yeah, so we need this, and we get this from the recycler. So, yeah, um, once this is all recycled or uh, goes through the centrifuge, we should get that, and then we should be able to make charcoal. So I have to throw that in here once that gets done. Uh, I can pull you up. So I have an extra one of you guys. All right, so I think what I should probably do is work on our power generation next. So I need 12 more of these guys, power low. which is just a little bit. So 12 more wind turbines. I think I, what I also want to do is, is automate our uh, airlock here. Not that it really matters, this is just my starter base, so it's not something I necessarily have to do. Oh, I was going to go out and grab the uh, the flooring out there. Speaking of flooring, I should, I should lay some flooring. So I need 3, 6, 9, 15, 18. Let's see, I need iron for that. Let's throw that in here. That's funny as I had 18 there and I just grabbed all, all the iron I had. All right, so let's get rid of everything in here. We'll turn that off and we'll do this. Oh, we have another storm. So yeah, uh, we will have plenty of power. Uh, so that should be fine. I think what I also want to do is automate our coal generator here. So when the CO2 levels drop to a certain point, this will turn on. All right, let's get some flooring in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, and nine. There we go. All right. One, two, and three. Perfect. So, yeah, it looks a lot better with flooring in here. Let's put that there. Let's see that can actually stay there uh, let's see here battery I'd like to get a big battery charger I need 10 iron so I'm like I'm gonna have to go out iron mining great I'm not gonna do that right now I'm gonna wait until our uh, our storms done so I guess what I could do is I could start to automate a few other things Let's do a sensor. I need three iron, which I should have three iron in here. Okay. Put you there, and we'll make one sensor. I could have just put it all in here, but it's fine. Iron's e extremely easy to find. Um, so let's do occupancy sensor right there. Let's grab this. Let's grab these. Hydration critical. And we're going to hook all this up. All 
There we go. All right. Uh, let's open up our helmet. I completely forgot that my helmet was not opened up and we were inside. So we're going to drink some water, eat some food really quick, and then we're going to set up some more logic. That's good. Let's eat some food. All right. So we have about 33% left in that can, and then we still have a whole thing of corn. So, yeah, I'm not really worried about our... Uh, our food and stuff yet. Yeah. Right, let's do some more logic. So I think I just need two of these. I need a logic reader and a logic writer or uh, batch writer. <laughs> I can't watch here. I'm at episode three at YouTube. <laughs> How are you enjoying the series so far? See, so we'll do this. Let's pull up our fluorine. We'll just do it right here. And then let's grab all of this. So what I want to do is I want to make sure all this is connected. So let's do this. There we go. And then I want to get rid of this right here. Okay. So let's do that. Let's put... We'll do a logic reader and then we'll do a batch writer. Yeah, I love watching um, YouTube videos of, of other people playing. I think I have like 14 or 1500 hours in on it. But yeah, this is probably one of my all-time favorite games right here. All right, so let's do this, that, that, that. All right, so that should be good. And then we're going to put occupancy sensor in here. And we'll do this. There we go. All right. Let's grab the screwdriver and this is going to read our, let's see, where's it at? Right there. And we want, actually we want it for activate, was it activate or, yeah, activate. All right. And then this is going to read that and then we want wall lights and on. So when I'm in here, they should turn on. When I leave, they turn off. All right, and that'll uh, help preserve some power for us. All right, perfect. All right, so that's good. And I need to get another battery going too because, um, yeah, we're full on power. So what do I need for another battery? I just need some steel, and I have steel. I have quite a bit of steel, so this will... That should be fine. I have enough for multiple batteries, so we're gonna do that so it doesn't make more than one for us. And then I need to go back outside and mine some iron, but right now I'm just kinda chilling here because I don't really wanna go outside right now because of the storm. So let's see, what else can I do while we're in here? I could move this over here. Yeah, let's do that. Then I'm just gonna have to pay more attention to my. Um, I kind of want to get a large battery thing, but I'll just do this one for now. We'll just throw it right here. So we'll do that. Let's grab these. There we go. Turn you on. And then let's grab these batteries here. And I, I need to make some more large batteries too. All right. All right, this is just about done. And I think I need some more iron sheets, which I don't think I have. And I don't have enough iron to actually make it. But what I want to do is place it right here, I believe. 
Yeah, so I need some more iron sheets, so I'm gonna have to wait until I can head back outside before I, I can grab those. But I can at least try to hook this up. I don't know, maybe. I don't know if I'll be able to get back there. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to wait until I can go go outside in order to do that. And then I want to put cladding on the top, but I need iron for that. I need iron for the lockers I want here. I need iron for a bunch of stuff. So I'm kind of stuck in here until I can go out and mine. You don't use different power nets or transformers. So this is just my main starter, or this is just my starter base. So I'm just running off of one power network for now. Once I get my other base up and running, like my, my main base, I'll uh, separate our uh, power network and stuff. Yeah, and this is actually, at, this would be at, um, episode four. So yeah, you're 100% uh, right on that one. Uh, mostly I forget them, and if I'm making some devices, something. Yeah, I know, that's how I do it too. <laughs> yeah, but this is just my starter base. Um, once this base is completely finished, I'm going to build the mining platform again, and then I'll start on our, on our main base. So I'm going to turn some of this stuff off to preserve some power. Um, I need to automate this grow light right here too, so I guess I could end up doing that actually I could do that right now I need a I, I need another sensor is the only thing which I need more iron but I can at least get get it started and if I remember correctly I think I need I think it's a similar situation to the occupancy the um, occupancy sensor I need just two of these guys And, okay. So, what I'll probably end up doing is, let's pull up this floor again. We'll do a logic writer and a, we'll do a batch writer here. There we go. So, yeah, I need to get a, a daylight sensor so I can put it on the top of our base here. So then it can read the sun and... Yeah, when the sun's out, the light will turn on. When the sun's down, the light will this light will turn off. But yeah, I have to go and grab some iron. So what we're going to do is we're going to place this in here, and we're going to go out on a mining trip. All right, so water's fine, food is fine, everything else looks good. My waste tank is full, but that fixed that. Okay, let's head back outside. So I mainly need iron. If I can find some other resources along the way, that would be ideal. Ooh, ooh, before I forget, because I am probably going to end up getting lost out there. We are going to do this. <laughs> there we go. I'm doing that the same, survival base, and then build a bigger base. Yeah, I know, the tracker, I uh, <laughs> was like, I don't want to get lost again, so I made sure my tracker was turned on. Let's see, let's head out this... Wait, I think there was iron over here. Because I remember running into an iron mine when I was looking for that copper. Which... The copper I found was this direction. All right, so here's the, all right, so this is that big gold note I found, which I guess I could mine some of this out really quick. I have some gold, but building the uh, that battery used up half of our stock. So yeah, we're gonna mine this section out at least a little bit here and grab at least a little bit of gold. which I probably don't need to mine out this whole thing anymore. There's not any more gold over in this area. It's mainly just back here. Let's see, fun fact tracker is on, but I haven't 
have the tracker covered, you know, I'm using the GPS card, it's better, faster, and without energy on the base. The GPS card. I don't think I've used the GPS card now, now that I think about it. Oh, isn't the GPS, isn't that the, uh, like the tracker that you just hardwire into your base? It, it, it doesn't run off the battery. I think that's that, I think that's what that is. I just haven't used it in this space yet. All right, so let's do this. I, I think I, I think that's all the gold in this area. Okay. All right. Yep. I think that's all the gold. So let's go out and try to find some more iron. Let's see here. Came from that direction, so let's go this way. I think I went too far. There was an iron deposit near me when I was when I was mine, mining out that original copper node. All right, there's more copper there. I don't really need more copper right now. I have about half a stack of gold on us. More copper, more silicone. I need iron. All right, here's some iron. All right, perfect. So a couple of stacks of iron would be ideal here. Yeah, I really don't mind don't mind going out mining uh, with with the heavy mining drill. It just mines so much quicker. All right, let's mine this way. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of iron this direction. And let's dig down, see if there's anything down here. It doesn't look like there is. There's a little bit more this way, but it doesn't look like there's anything back that way. So we'll do this. Up oh, and there's more iron over here too, so. And there's more iron right there. So yeah, we're gonna dig out kind of this whole area then. So it's kind of split up into two different nodes here. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of iron in here. Okay, and there's more iron up here. So yeah, we already have two stacks of iron, so that's probably enough iron, but I'm gonna try to mine out as much as I can so that I don't have to go out mining for at least a little bit. And then I'll probably end up grabbing some copper while I'm out here too, because there was quite a bit of copper that we ran past. All right, there's that, and let's dig out this. Probably just dig out this whole area, just take it down one more layer, just to double check and make sure that there's no more iron over here. Oh, wow, okay. Sun was like, I'm here. All right. So I don't think there's any more iron back here, at least not from what I can see. Let's see, there's a little bit more this way, but I think that's the majority of all the iron that was in this area. So after I finish mining this, we'll go out and get a little bit more copper, then we'll head back home. Yep, that that's good enough. All right. So if I remember correctly, yeah, there's copper right here. There's a bunch of copper over here, actually. So let's do this. I really don't need a whole lot of copper. I still have a bunch of it from the other mining trip that we went on, but we'll grab at least what's on the floor here. And it looks like we're gonna grab some silicone too. 
All right, let's dig out this way a little bit. Let's do that. Okay. And let's dig up and we'll dig this way. Uh, looks like there's a bunch more copper in this wall here too. Yep, I know. I will head back here shortly. All right, so yeah, let's get at least one stack of copper and then we'll call it. And that's one stack of copper. So grab that, grab that, and then let's head home. And if I remember correctly, home should be this direction. So I don't really need my tracker, but just to be safe, I grabbed it. All right. Yeah, your I was tell your base, mark that coordinates, and then find back every time if you run. Oh, okay, that makes sense. All right. So what we're gonna do is to smelt everything at least a little bit quicker is we're gonna use the furnace here. So let's do one, two, three, four, one, two. And then let's do the iron first. All right, this should be done. Oh yeah, I have to, I don't know why they did that. That just makes this more complicated. Unnecessary, but whatever. And right, then let's do this. Put you in there, open you up, and then let's do the gold, and I'll do the silicone while, while we have it here. And then last but not least, this silicone. Alright, and let's do this. I knew that was going to blow away. We're going to put that in here. Whoa. I don't think that's actually doing anything. Like, nothing's actually on fire. I think it's just... Well, okay, that was insane. Uh, we do have charcoal, though. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, everything got blown away. Yeah, that was interesting. Uh, our charcoal like exploded our base here, but nothing else, but nothing caught on fire. So I think we're okay. That was weird. Hmm. I th I think everything's good. All right, let's go back inside. And boom. All right, so let's open up our helmet. I'm going to put all of this in here and then let's grab the charcoal and we'll place that right here. I don't think this will actually burn charcoal if it's not actually using it. Um, I guess I'll find I can probably just keep that on. That's going to get really annoying though. That's probably fine. All right, let's actually, well, um, let's do this really quick. Let's throw copper, gold, and throw some iron in here and make a sensor really quick. Oh, that's the sound it's making when it's actually purifying. All right, I just need one sensor. All right, and then let's head outside really quick. We'll place this. Um, actually, how do I want to do this? 
So I'm going to have to hook it up to our main power. I guess I could hook it up to this cable right here. That that would work. Uh, to be on the safe side, let's make some more normal cable really quick. All right, let's get rid of all of you in here. Because I also need to get some iron sheets as well. So if I remember correctly, I need four iron sheets. One, two, three, four. All right, and then let's grab you. Temperature high. Yep, I know. All right, so that's done. Wait, my guy's breathing really heavily. That's not good. All right, so let's go outside really quick. Let's grab the sensor. And then I think I know where I'm going to put this. Let's do that. Okay. So because I have this cable right here, the, the logical place for it. Hmm, how do I want to do this? Because can't really place it. I can't really place it anywhere once these are all uh, up here. I was going to place it right here. And I guess I could place it on the back or something. Actually, that, that would work. I could place it like right here. I'd have to wrap that cable all, all the way around, which I guess wouldn't be the worst thing. Kind of a waste of cable, but if I have to do it this way, I have to do it. I can always redo it later. Alright, and then this is going to come straight down like that. All right, looks good there. And I also need to hook up this other battery. So we're gonna do it like this. All right, and then I just need to turn that battery on and that should start generating more power for us. So let's head back inside and set up that logic. Power critical. Jeez, everything's critical right now. Okay. All right, so power is critical. Let's take care of that. Hydration is critical. Let's take care of that. There we go. And then let's eat some food really quick while we're here. Let's turn you off. All right, growing poorly. Why are you growing poorly? Uh, there's pollutant in here. There's enough CO2. Everything's in here, so we should be fine. It's probably because it's uh, there's too much light. Is my best guess. All right, let's grab that. Let's grab this, and let's hook this up. And then that should all be hooked up. Okay. And then this is going to be grow lights. All right. And then how I want to do this is this is going to read the daylight sensor if it's activated. So it's zero right now, which makes sense because it's dark outside. And then this is going to read the reader. We'll do row light and on. So once the daylight sensor uh, 
activates once it reaches uh, or once it gets sunlight this will turn on and then once the sun goes down this will turn off so that should help with our um, with our, our growth here all right so that looks good there let's see where's my flooring there it is all right so it's 33 degrees in here what I also need is to do couple of vents. Let's do some insulated pipe. I be cautious with this setup. Yeah, this is just a temporary setup. This is just my starter base. Like I'm not, I'm going to end up building a, my main base after I uh, get this finished and then I build my mining platform. I want to get my mining platform done before I start on my starter base just because I'm going to need a crap ton of resources for it. Okay, so let's see. I need iron because I want to make some insulated pipe right here so that I can put kind of a passive cooling system in here. Oh, did you? Literally, yes, I had a problem with the sensor activate thing. I mean, I, I guess we'll see if it works. Worst case scenario, I can just manually do it, but um, I'll see if this works or not. Let's see, so we'll grab that. We'll grab that. I think there's steel in there so yeah let's throw all this in here oh I should probably finish building you there we go <laughs> yeah the potatoes um for the most part this setup was working for pretty much everything I had in my other Europa base um, I can always kind of rig it a little bit better, but this is just more of a temporary thing for right now. All right, so let's do some insulated pipe here. Oh, that's the wrong pipe. I want this pipe. Yeah, I'm not going to have ferns for quite a while, to be honest with you. Um, what I'm going to try to do is potatoes, obviously, but I, I also want to get tomatoes and then um, soybeans, which, where are my tomato seeds? I wonder if they're still outside. They very well could be. They better not have gotten destroyed. If that happens, I'm going to have to get a trader. So we're gonna have a digital valve right here. So one, three, four. You know, I could actually move this main power cable over here. And then I could even have a more uh, passive vents there. All right, I can turn you off. That's more than I'll need. Um, let's do vent. All right, I need some iron, which all my iron's gonna be in here. I just need one of you. But yeah, I'm going to get some radiators and place them right here, a digital valve here, and then I'm going to put my passive vent on the outside. So let's do this. I can turn you guys off. All right, let's go back outside. And we'll close up my helmet. Yeah, I mean, really, you can easily just survive off of potatoes. I mean, it would be nice to get, like, tomato soup up and running and stuff. Uh because you don't have to do, keep cooking it for quite as long and it lasts a lot longer, but okay, let's see here. Let's put you there. I want to grab, so that's for the ox or yeah, that's for our filtration. I, I'm going to color code our, uh, our logic filtration occupancy, the occupancy sensor since it's green, let's use green on it doesn't really matter and then the daylight sensor we'll use is yellow and then let's just grab a normal valve really quick to power controller everything else looks pretty good there's steel I don't really need any of this I guess I could start putting some of this inside but Alright. 
So yeah, I'm gonna eventually do a digital valve right there. I just wanna make sure that this works. So let's open up my helmet and then I also need some radiators. My radiator, I need gold, which I have plenty of gold. So I need four. I think what they need to do is on the advanced versions, like you can actually dictate how many pieces you, you want, like actually on the machine, like, hey, I want 10 or I want four, or, you know, whatever it is. It's three. All right, let's do that. One, two, three, and four. So if I open this, it should cool down our base. 32 degrees. It's going to be slow, but it should eventually cool it down. 31 degrees. Yep, it's cooling it down. All right, so, so that's good. So yeah, what I want to do is automate this too. So I need a digital valve for that. Which is right here. I need copper and invar. Good thing I have a bunch of invar and copper on me. That's solder, there's Invar, okay. So I just need one of you. This option is available on very advanced machines. Yeah, I think it should be available on like just these guys here. Like I could write some logic up for it, but there we go. All right, we're at 28 degrees, so yeah, let's turn that off. <laughs> and then we're gonna do this. There we go, and then I just need to hook it up to our power network, which should be easy enough. There we go, and then I can write some logic for it really quick too. So let's pull up the floor in here. I'll put you back, and then... Let's color code some of these. So this one's our daylight sensor. Let's see, this is our filtration. And then this is the occupancy sensor. And the reason I painted that one green is because that's green. Um, white is obviously my oxygen and then yellow is the daylight sensor. So that's kind of the reason I chose those colors. And let's put you there and we'll put you there. All right, so that looks good. Um, now I need probably just a simple compare valve. Um, I need a gas sensor as well, so let's do this. I just need one gas sensor. I need some more cable. Oh, I don't have any copper, it's all in here. All right, so let's do this. Proximity, we'll just do a gas sensor right there. And let's hook this up. It is hard to see. There we go, okay. Let's put you back, we'll put you back, and then... All right, so that did actually work moderately well so yeah the sun came out yeah the problem is jupiter um because technically the sun has been out for quite a while but it just wasn't registered because of jupiter so i guess i could write some logic to do like put it on like a time limit or something but since this is just my starter base i'm not too worried about it but yeah the, at least this is for the most part automated all right uh let's get everything out of here All right, there's that. And then all of this I'm just gonna place in here for now. Well, everything but the gold and the copper because I'm gonna need both those. All right, so let's do logic really quick. I'm gonna need 
This, this one's just going to be a simple compare unit as well. Actually, I might make this one a more advanced version of the compare because yeah, the temperature is rising due to the plants here, so I know exactly how I'm going to end up doing this. Oh, I only need so I, I need two logic memories and then two uh, logic processors. All right, so we are going to do it like this logic reader. We're going to do a doesn't really matter how I do this. It could be just a basic logic writer. Let's see, where do I want to place these? I feel like I want to place the logic processors right here. That just makes more sense because I plan on placing um, shelves right here. So if I do a compare unit and then a select unit like that, and then where do I want to place these? I guess I could place them like this one here. Yeah, let's pull up this floor right here. All right, I think I know how I want to do this. So let's do some cable coil. I don't need a whole lot, but Yeah, we're gonna do this. All right, so I'm gonna have my main power cable come out like this. All right, let's stop that for now. Let's unhook all of this. And then we're going to do it like this. Okay. So then we're going to delete this cable right here. some more cable All right, there we go so that should for the most part be hooked up uh, what I need to do now is build a couple more of these shelves to figure out exactly how I want to do this alright that's fine let's just throw you right there I need iron which we have iron right here, so let's pull a couple more lockers. I can't remember if it's one locker or two lockers. I'll just build two just to be on the safe side. And my power... Oh, crap. I need to actually hook up our battery there. It's not hooked up. Waste tank caution. Waste tank caution. All right, I should be able, this should be mostly CO2 and nitrogen. Okay, there we go. So we're going to do this. Oops, wrong one, wrong cable. I need you.
There we go. Okay, that'll you now. Now it's utilizing both batteries there. Um, two lockers. So I could do a normal locker like that. But what I was kind of planning was doing two of these shelves here. One there and one there, something like that. I don't know if I really really like the looks of that though. I mean, it's not bad, but. Or else I could do just like a normal small locker right here. Hmm. This could be this could be my suit locker actually, because one, two, three, four. I guess this could technically be my suit locker. That's not bad. I kind of like that. All right, and then oh, these can go one there and one there. That could go like that. Um, I need more cable. And that's the reason I did it like that. Okay, perfect. So this should be, for the most part, all set up. And then this is going to be digital valves. Oops. I forgot one. All right, now it's hooked up. All right, so let's just do logic reader. Let's do, um, we'll just label it as cooler because that's essentially what it is. It's just a, a cooling system. Then we'll do cooler min and cooler max. So then we'll do the max temperature is, I guess I really only need one 293 and then the min, oh, I have to actually, do these 293 and this is going to be 298 and if I remember correctly that should be 20 degrees Celsius and 25 degrees Celsius all right so let's try to hook this up here so this is going to read the gas sensor wait do I have multiple gas sensors oh I I do um, there we go. Yeah, sensor cooler. All right, that one. And then you're going to read temperature. All right, and then we need to select a unit. So this is going to be. We'll do min, and then we'll do max, and this is going to be logic compare cooler. Wait a minute, logic select, wow. That, okay, and that's going to be, if it's less, Actually, no, if it's greater than logic select. All right. So if it's greater than that, then this will logic compare cooler. This will be the digital valve, and this will be on. So if it's greater than 293. So logic select. Oh wait, I need, this has to be logic reader. Oops. There we go, okay. 
So then once this drops down to 20 degrees Celsius, this will actually turn off and then it won't turn on again until it reaches 25 degrees Celsius. And I can always uh, um, adjust those if I have to, but that's just more of a basic uh, way of doing it. Exactly, this is what I mean, having this optional element. Yeah, that, that's fair. Okay, there we go. So I'm not entirely sure what color I should, uh, I guess I could do blue to color code it. So let's go outside and grab the blue paint really quick. All right, let's go back outside. I do have blue and then we'll just grab the red as well. Granted, I don't really, I don't really need the, uh, the red for the heater because our base just kind of naturally heats up, which is kind of nice. All right, so the red one we'll put away and then the blue one, this is gonna be our cooling system. All right, awesome. And then I can actually put the flooring back. So yeah, we actually have quite a bit of logic set up here. And I have more over here. All right, so for the most part, our base is automated. Uh-oh. All right, so that's not doing what I wanted it to do. So then cooler, max, compare. So if a logic reader is greater than this. All right, let's think about this. So if it's greater than 293, then it turns on. Yeah, that's not right. Actually, you're very annoying. Yeah, why are you switching like that? It did the same thing when I was building our uh, our mining platform with the centrifuges. Okay, so logic cooler minimum, logic cooler max, logic compare. So with logic reader, If it's greater, it would be overly sensitive if too close to the cooler. So that's kind of what I'm thinking, but this is showing 295, so that doesn't make sense. Logic reader, if it's greater than this logic select, so logic, it's going to be greater than both those. Actually, I don't I don't want it if it's greater than 298 it turns on And then I want it to turn off when it gets below I wonder if I have to swap these I wonder if that would fix it. So this would be All right, yeah, so if it's greater than 298, then this will turn on. And then when it, when it drops below 293, this will turn off. So I think I just had these backwards. Uh, that was really annoying, though, so I wanted to get that fixed. All right, so now that that's done, let's get some cladding for the top here. So actually, you know what I need to do more than anything else is actually do our... Um, Let's get some more wind turbines. And you are not where wind turbines are made. You are where wind turbines are made. I need a bunch of iron, which 
I do have some iron on me. I need 120 iron to make all of them that we have, but let's just make what we have here. All right. Yeah, so I think that solved it. Um, I think I just had the, the logic memories backwards. Because now this is working. Temperature 294. So yeah, we're at 20 degrees Celsius. I can't remember what the potatoes need for optimized growth. Oh, min ideal, 20 degrees Celsius. So yeah, that actually worked out perfectly. Yep, and it's slowly starting starting to heat up. So, okay, so I guess we'll find out if this works or not. So I need some more gold. I need some more copper. I, I need some more iron. So I could go out on another mining trip, which I guess I could do. I'm going to have to go outside anyway. So, yeah, let's go out on another mining trip. Or maybe I'll wait till till daytime. It is almost daytime. I can see it's starting to get lighter out there. I can make three more of these. Yeah, so let's just head out. Let's top off our food, our water, and we'll make sure our battery is full. Speaking of batteries, I need to make some more large batteries as well. There's our battery. How's our mining drill battery doing? 50%. That's probably fine. All right, let's head back outside and go mining. Yeah, I think I just had the the memory chips uh, swapped. All right, so let's go and find some iron, copper, and gold, which we will head this way. I know that there's more copper over here. I don't know if I mined it all, which it looks like I did. I know there's a bunch of stuff on this hill. Now yeah, there's a bunch of gold in there. Oh, geez. All right, there should be a, a copper mine right here. Yeah, this is the original where that copper note I found earlier. There was a bunch of copper in this wall. I'm hoping I got most of it. Okay. Filter low. Ooh, that's right. I need to change my filters out, which I do have more advanced alloys, so I should be able to build the medium filter, which should last quite a bit longer than the, uh, the normal ones. All right, so let's dig straight this way and try to see if there's any more copper this direction. Which it doesn't look like there is, so we'll just mine the stuff that's on the floor over there. Alright, and let's dig straight up. And then we'll mine out all this copper right here. I'd like to get at least one stack of each because I really don't need a whole lot more iron. Um, I have enough iron to build all, all nine wind turbines, so another stack or two of, of iron would be ideal. Um, at least one stack of gold and one or two stacks of copper would be perfect. Right, so let's dig out this direction a little bit since I saw that there's more copper near this wall right here. All right, and let's dig out this way. You should use mods for mining. So I've thought about it, but I kind of like the fact that because my goal is to get my mining platform up and running. So if I use mods, then I feel like it's just completely useless. But without mods, like it takes a lot longer to actually mine. So when you actually, you know, get the the mining drills and the uh, 
mining platforms and you know the more advanced mining machines up and running it feels more of an accomplishment at that point because this is tedious which is it's supposed to be tedious so i've thought about using mining mods and stuff to make it so like each time i mine i get like the full stacks of ore and stuff which i've thought about multiple times but because i want to kind of feel accomplished um when i like build the drills and stuff that's why I chose not to. I mean, yeah, it takes it's a little bit more tedious, but like when I went from the basic mining drill to this one, it was a huge, it just felt like a huge accomplishment, which is what I want. I want to kind of get rewarded for, you know, building the more ad advanced stuff, if that makes sense. All right, so that's probably fine. I have a full stack of copper. That's probably good for now. Uh, let's go. All right, I see gold over there, and then... I see more iron over here too, so let's go grab those. That, I mean, that's true. And mine doesn't add anything to the gameplay, especially if you are a streamer. Yeah, no, I can agree with that one too. I don't know, maybe in the next playthrough I do, I'll use a uh, the mining mods and stuff. What I plan on doing before I build the uh, my mining platform is I plan on actually going out in between episodes and mining pretty much all the resources I'm going to need to build it so that I just spend the entire um, episode building it instead of, you know, the entire episode mining. All right, I shouldn't need a whole lot of gold. I should be able to get quite a bit of gold from uh, this node right here. But yeah, I mean, in comparison to the last Europa series I did, which I'm still sad about because I completely lost that save, but uh, I've been mining a lot less. At least I feel like I've been mining a lot less. All right, we have a, we almost have a full stack of... Uh, all right, so we have a full stack of gold here. All right, I'm going to keep at least a couple of these nodes here just in case I have to come out later. So we'll do this. And then I need just a little bit of iron and we should be good. Which there's iron right here, so I wonder how much iron's actually here. And to be honest, the way I mine is probably more tedious than it needs to be. Um, instead of just going with every node, I see I kind of mine a big area to make sure I get everything. Like with this one, I'm just kind of mining whatever node I see here. Alright, so I don't think there's any more iron. Alright, there is a little bit more iron over here. Alright, so that's good there. Let's go out and see if I can't find any more. Uh, we're going to start making our way back though. Alright, so there's coal. I don't need coal. Don't need copper. Now, there's more iron that way, but... There should be some more over here, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, I see some more. Well, I meant to jump right there, but I just completely fell. Oh yeah, I think there's a bunch on this hill right here. Yep, I will take care of that in just a minute. You know what I could do is just take down this whole mountain. Yeah, we should actually get quite a bit of iron from from this. Oh yeah, we already have a full stack. I'm not going to take down the whole mountain, but I'm going to Try to mine out a bunch of this iron here. All right, and we already have. So let's put you there, you there. Grab you. Uh oh. Grab you. We'll place you there. 
And let's grab a little bit more. There we go. Okay, that's probably good. And then because that's going to annoy me. There we go. All right. Let's head home. So, yeah, that wasn't terrible. I got a stack of copper, a, over a stack of gold, and then almost three stacks of iron. So I am happy with that little, little mining trip. But, yeah, maybe the next time I uh, do a video, I'll, I'll use the... Uh, the more ore mod just so when mining I don't have to spend the entire time out here mining because it is still an, an um, accomplishment like you said all right and then we're gonna smelt all our ores here so let's close this let's see we'll do one two three four one two I can't remember if, if that's the ratio or not. I, I know it's, well, technically it's two of one and one of the other, but I like to make the double. Because then the temperature is a lot hotter for longer, especially on Europa. Save the hot gas on Europa. Yeah, when I get my, my main base up and running, I plan on saving it. Um... I don't really, uh, honestly, it's not like the biggest deal, at, at least not right now, because there's ice and oxide everywhere and volatile, so it's, lot, it's not like I'm not going to have gas. But I'm going to do something similar to what I did on my first Europa base, because that actually worked quite well. But yeah, what I plan on doing is... Oops, I forgot that was open. Um, let's do this. We'll do the silicone since I have silicone too. Alright, and then let's get rid of all of that. And we'll put this inside our inventory. Alright, let's go back inside. Oh yes, but on Europa you want hot gas. Yep, I, I, I know you do. <laughs> All right, and this is actually working quite nicely. Our little, uh... all right, these all do not need to be on. All right, so I have four, so that's another layer. So I need eight more. See, I need a bunch more gold and stuff too, which I have. All right, so let's do this and we'll build, I can build five more. I need more copper. So, yeah, I want to get all the wind turbines I need for the top of our base here because we are going to start struggling with power at least a little bit. Um, but while we're waiting, we're going to do this. We're going to do cladding. So I need 18 pieces of cladding, I believe. And then I'm probably going to end up painting it... Uh, well, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I need 18. So we're at 9, 10. It's orange. I don't know if I want an orange roof. 4, 6, 7, 8. There we go. Uh, let's try... Since everything's kind of gray, I guess I could do like a gray color. Let's see here. We'll do a gray paint. There we go. And we'll put you away and we'll paint you guys. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Oh yeah, that doesn't look bad. I need a piece of cladding right here. So, oops, no, not you. I need iron. I just need one. Let's see, you're almost done. I guess what I could do, this is working on our fourth. Let's do that, because I don't really need another one until I can make the other three. There we go. All right. So our base is looking actually re really good here. And then you're just about done. I'm going to wait until this is done, then I'll go outside and actually hook both of those up. I'm probably going to need some more thriving. So everything's thriving. I'm, I'm going to need some more heavy cable. I'm not sure how much I'm going to need, so let's go out here really quick before I do anything else. And I forgot that my helmet was actually turned um, closed the entire time, so... I just wasted a bunch of oxy oxygen for no reason. All right, let's do this. So what we're going to do is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. Two, three, four. Yep, I'm gonna need some more heavy cable. I can already tell. Power critical. I don't need a whole lot more though, just a little bit more. All right, that's annoying. Let's put that back. Yeah, and what I plan on doing in my main base is uh, once I get, because I'm going to use um, a couple of insulated tanks in the advanced furnace. So what I plan on doing is actually utilizing the hot gas in our base. So I'll kind of put a passive heating system similar to how I did this. And then I'll also do one for CO2 so that I can not have this set up right here. Oh, that's looking good. All right, our plants are looking really good. So I need cable coil. I completely forgot what I was doing. So I don't need a whole lot, but I'd probably say about, well, probably only five or six, but I'm gonna get a, get a stack of 10 just to be on the safe side. Cause yeah, our batteries are almost completely dead. I'm not entirely sure what's eating up all of our power. Probably the fridge, to be honest with you. Six. Yeah, I definitely need more, uh, some more power here. All right, so that's nine, and let's build one more. All right, perfect. All right, let's go back outside and then, uh, actually, you know what I can do? Let's actually build some more of these. So, because I'm gonna hook up our generator to our main power network. So when this turns on, it'll actually power our batteries. All right, let's close our helmet so we don't end up dying. All right. And let's hook this up. Oh, geez. I just kind of flew. Okay, there we go. Two, three, four. And then hopefully this will help our power generation here. I added two other rows of wind turbines, so hopefully that'll help. I also want to build a, like a solar platform as well to utilize the sun when it's out. Yeah, so what I kind of want to do here is I can do this and then just hook it straight up to this that 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 way I uh, when my generator turns on it'll actually kind of charge my batteries up too that'll be good and also move that stacker inside at some point all right Let's 
turn you off and we'll turn you off. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna have to go outside, aren't I? Yep, I'm gonna have to go outside. And I kind of want to mess with the bigger active vents and stuff too. Because I know that there's the small one, there's a medium one, and then there's a large one. Which I plan on doing another hangar, similar to how I did on my Mars base. So I could do a, like a large vent to rapidly depressurize and pressurize our uh, hangars. And then I also want to decorate the outside of our base. I also need some more... Um, frames and stuff too should provide a good amount of power i'm hoping so um i, I was kind of lasting quite a while on the couple of rows i had so hopefully this will start charging our batteries up i guess what i could do is set up a, a logic system to where i can actually monitor the power of our batteries i think i did that in my um, I did it in my Mars base. I think I also did it in the first year Europa base I did too. Can't re remember for sure. All right. Oh yeah, it's charging. That's actually helping quite a bit. Um, but yeah, our base is looking quite nice. I'm really uh, liking this. All right, so what I want to do... A text message. Uh, I want to place this somewhere. Actually, that's going to block that. Um, I could honestly just throw that outside. Uh, what I'll probably want to do is get rid of all the gas that's in here. Yeah, let's just do this. <laughs> so yeah we have a bunch of gas in here which is fine on the plus side i can actually utilize it and get all of our uh atmosphere to go into our uh canister there so yeah that's done so i'm gonna take yeah i don't ever really use those to, to be honest with you i normally just use like the the big tanks and then I need to actually hook this up as well. But uh, yeah, our base is actually looking quite nice. So I think what I want to do next is I want to get our um, farm up and running a little bit better. So we have iron. Let's get rid of you. We'll turn you off. And then I need three, six, nine, eighteen, twenty-one is what I need. Which these are 10 a piece. Oh, that's a lot of iron. I don't know if I need that much iron. I could just build another one of these and call it good, honestly, but um, I'm gonna have to go out mining if I do this. So yeah, let's we'll, we'll make a couple of them. I guess what I could do is make nine to start. It's 90 iron. Yeah, so what I plan on doing is placing them right here. Oops. Yeah, I plan on placing them right here, but I also need to make some... I need some insulated pipes so I can, I can connect our water over to our, um, our hydroponics area over there. So let's do one, two, three, four, five. All right, I need one more, so we'll do this. And our power is increasing, so that's good. Let's turn you off. One, two, three, four. Okay. And now what I need is I need steel and silicone. Hydration critical. Uh oh. And let's make some insulated pipe. And we'll drink some water since we're here. 
I also need to make a filter too before I forget. Let's see, let's eat some food. All right, that's that 1%, so that's almost done. Thriving, thriving, moderately well and thriving. Wait, why are you different? Everything else is thriving. Why are you just moderately well? Let's see, let's grab the wrench and then we'll grab some of these. So this is gonna come up like this. One, two. Whoa, what's right there? Oh. Why did I do it like that? That makes no sense, but okay. We're gonna fix that. So. This is gonna go like. This. There we go, that looks better. I was like, why did I build it like that? All right, let's 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 stop those for now. Cause I'm not entirely sure how many I, I'm gonna need. And then this is gonna run like this. Uh, I'm, in, I'm gonna need more, so we'll continue building them. batteries are charging so that's good so let's see let's do this one two And we still have a bunch of steel and silicone in here too. So here, let's see exactly how far we are. Yeah, we're almost there. And then I can always use more, so I'm not worried about making extra. There we go. All right, so our water is hooked up. Let's turn you off. Let's get all of the resources out of there, and then let's put our, cl our uh, cladding back. Alright, so this should be set up. Let's see how much water do we have in here? Not a whole lot, so I'm gonna have to go out and mine some ice to get some more water in here, but... It's thriving. Okay, so yeah, I need, also need an, another grow light too then. Let's see, let's do that. Probably just in here, so let's do grow light. I need steel and electrum, which I have both of those. And I just need one grow light. So yeah, while um, the sun is out, let's go and mine some ice. And if I remember correctly, there should be ice everywhere out here. And I'm just going to throw you right there. Because I don't actually care if you get destroyed, because I don't ever use you guys anyways. Alright, now I have to go find some ice, which, if I remember correctly, there's actually ice over here. There's ice everywhere, and... Typically, with my luck, I will go out here looking for one thing. I never find it, but I find everything else I don't need at that particular moment. So I'm pretty sure I know where ice is. Yep, there's ice right there. I knew it was fairly close. And thankfully with ice... Oh, jeez. I just kind of launched myself. 
And thankfully with ice, you don't have to mine a whole lot, but you end up getting a bunch from each of these uh, little nodes here. Yeah, we're, we're already at a full stack. And that should be enough ice to last us for quite a while. Um, I'm going to mine some of this copper while, while we're here. Yeah, we're already in a full stack of copper, too. Yeah, if I mine like this, it goes a lot quicker. But I kind of like mining um, in the big uh, area that I normally do, because then I am sure that I get everything instead of kind of mining like this, which isn't a bad way to mine, but... Yeah, I actually got... Quite a bit of resources just added this little node right here too. That's probably enough. So yeah, let's head back. I actually got a bunch of copper and a little bit of gold out of that, and we got a bunch of water, and we were only out there for a couple of seconds. Power low. All right, so let's head back really quick. I've been focusing most of my mining out uh, in this area. I haven't really gone out that way yet, or over there. Okay. Let's see, how's our power doing? So they are charging, so that's good. Um, I guess what I can do is let's actually make a little bit more. One, two, three, four. One, two. We'll actually do this and smelt the rest of this iron, or copper, and gold that I have. So then I can finish making the other four wind turbines. There we go. All right, let's get rid of you. I know it's a, it's a waste of gas, but thankfully there's volatiles and oxide everywhere, so. Let's do this, oops, and that. Let's open up our helmet. And our batteries are charging, so that's good. Let's put this stuff here, and we'll throw that right there. So this is gonna use up a bunch of power, but hopefully we're good. The grill light, so I wanna, I have to actually get rid of the cladding there, which is fine. So I need four of these. And I have 40 iron in here, so we should have just enough. So that should work perfectly. And our batteries are charged. Oh, there it goes. It was charging. Liquid volume. All right, so that's working actually quite nicely. Let's do this. And then what do I need for the medium filters? Let's see, I need silver, iron, silver, and constant. The only thing I don't have is silver. So, yeah, the only thing I don't have is silver. So I'm going to have to go out and find some silver. I have everything else except iron, too. So I don't have iron, either. Hmm. Which I just came out back from mining. I don't know if I really want to go on, an, on another mining trip right now. At least not while it's nighttime. While it's daytime, I don't mind doing it because I can easily see where I'm going. Let's do this. And then let's hook you up. Like that. Alright, so that should help with our growth. Driving towards fruiting. Ooh, we have potato seeds. So let's do this. One, two, three, four. All right, and then the rest of it's going to go in here. 
and then I can actually get, get rid of this too. So I'm gonna take this outside. And the next storm will end up destroying this, maybe. Actually, I still have a liquid canister in here. There we go, okay. So five liter, yeah, so we're slowly getting there. Um, I can turn you off. Let's see, we're gonna keep you doing what you're doing. I'm gonna need some more heavy cable. So yeah, we're gonna wait till this is done. I'm gonna set up the other four wind turbines and hopefully by that time um, it's daylight and I can actually go grab some silver and iron and then I'll probably end up calling the episode because we're getting close to the two hour mark here. All right, you're just about done. See how much, all right, we have enough CO2 in here. How much pollutant do we have? Not a lot, all right, we're good then. All right, there's that. Let's make some heavy cable. I don't need a whole lot, but I'm just gonna kind of let that do its thing. Put our, put our helmet down so we don't end up killing ourselves. And then we're gonna head outside and place these last four wind turbines. There we go. And we'll just put you there. And we don't have any power generating right now, so that's kind of not good. Two. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yep, I'm gonna have to uh, redo that then. So let's do this. I know how I'm gonna do this. We're gonna do it like this. There we go. That should allow me to place that last wind turbine. There we go, okay. Please have enough heavy, heavy cable. I don't think I'm gonna. I'm short by just a couple. I need two more. <laughs> Dang it. Alright. And let's do this. And I should have plenty of heavy cable in here. Oh yeah, that, that should be enough. Yeah, I need to turn this into an automatic airlock. All right. Wow. These were going really fast just a second ago. Now they're not going at all. It's insane. All right, so this is hooked up. So we have the um, top of our base completely covered by wind turbines. So hopefully that should help with our power ge generation. Um, what I want to do is I kind of want to utilize solar as well since there's actually quite a bit of sunlight here um, once the sun gets past Jupiter. But the sunlight that is here, I, I would like to at least utilize. So I'm going to probably end up building a solar platform at some point. But our starter base for the most part is almost completely done. Um, we actually have, have done quite a bit today. It was mostly just a bunch of like automating and stuff, getting the logic set up to um, get the automatic lights. The grill lights are all done. Um, we have our cooling system here, which is actually working phenomenally. Uh, I just had to swap the logic memories, but yeah, everything else is going quite nicely. I still need to hook this up to power so I can actually utilize our microwave, which I can do that whenever, but everything else is doing really well. So I think what I want to do is I need to get a fil I need to get a couple of filters. Otherwise I'm going to end up dying. So 
What do I need for the large battery charger? Because I would like to get some more large batteries too. Let's see, I, I need iron. What a shock. Okay, so I'm going to have to go out and mine a little bit more iron. Which... I guess I could do that really quick. That's good. That's good enough. So let's do this. Yeah, so let's go mine a little bit more iron and then um, at least get the filters in my suit good to go. And then I'm going to have to take another shower, it looks like, and then we'll call it the episode. But yeah, we've done quite a bit today. I'm actually really happy with how much we actually progressed. Let's see. I do know that there's silver somewhere um, around here. I think it's this direction, if I remember right. Let's see if I can remember where it is. It's been a while since I've gone out this way, so. All right, that was coal. There's more ice over there. Yeah, like I said, there's ice everywhere. There's gold. It'd be awesome if there was daylight so I could actually kind of see where stuff was. But... There's iron, and that's mainly what I need. If I have to make some smaller filters, oh well. I would like to make the bigger filters, but these small filters last quite a while, to be to, to be honest. Uh, we already have a full stack of iron. Yeah, so mining like, like this isn't the worst. I normally don't do it because I like to get every little node that I can, but you do mine a lot quicker if you just kind of mine without a purpose or like just mine without being organized about it, I suppose. Yeah, I think we grabbed a good portion of the iron that was here. I'm not seeing anything else. So I think that was up and there goes our, our battery. So yeah, we have to head back it anyways. So yeah, we're just going to make a couple more uh, small filters. And then once I can find some silver, we'll start making um, medium filters for us. But yeah, let's head back. And then we're just going to utilize this really quick because it's a lot faster. Filter critical. Yep, I know. I'm taking care of it right now. And let's go. So yeah, we're just going to make a couple small filters. Then I'm going to... Uh, my guy needs a shower. His hygiene levels are starting to drop. And then um, I'm going to call the episode. So we'll throw you in there. And let's do... Power low. Uh, let's just make three of these. So I'm going to put you there. Nah, we'll just make one more. And then I already have the recycler, so I can actually recycle these as well. All right, let's turn you off. Uh, our power is increasing, so that is awesome. Um, let's see, I can throw another one of you in there too. All right, so let's put our suit in our suit locker here. So... I guess what I could do is just do this. The uniform, backpack. All right, so there's our suit locker. Let's take an, another quick shower, get our hygiene levels back up, and then I'm gonna call the episode here. And I'm going to put a door on here, too, so if I ever have company, which I never will, but you never know. There might be an alien, like, 
staring at me taking a shower which would be kind of disturbing but still um but yeah i'm gonna call the episode here we actually accomplished quite a bit today um it was mostly just a bunch of logic stuff i went out mining a few times it wasn't a whole lot of mining which is kind of nice i spent the majority of the time actually building our base which for the most part our starter base is done um i need to set up a little a little bit more logic for our um, coal generator here so once the co2 levels dip this will turn on and then in doing so it'll also power up these batteries but um yeah for the most part our starter base is done so i think what i'm going to do in the next episode is actually start working on our mining platform so with that being said in between episodes i think what i'm going to do is collect as many resources as i can so that i can spend the majority of the episode actually building it but um yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you all in the next video.